Moving north, Zimbabwe's government has confirmed that it's on the verge of taking over Telecel Zimbabwe, the country's third largest cell phone operator. Last year, Zarnet, a private company owned by Zimbabwe's ICT ministry, inked a 40 million US dollar deal to buy the majority stake from a Russia-owned telecoms giant Vimplecom. But the deal has faced many delays because of the local bank's liquidity challenges. Zimbabwe's telecoms minister now says that the takeover is expected to boost the government's local empowerment plans. With the takeover, the Zimbabwe government will shore up its ownership in the local telecoms industry. Telesel Zimbabwe boasts a 2.5 million subscriber base. The government already runs loss-making parastatal Net1, the second largest network, with 4 million users. The transaction to take over Telesel has encountered challenges. The funds, some of them, are still in Zimbabwe. And because of uh, issues relating to liquidity and uh, the funding of Nostra accounts, uh, the entire amount has not been remitted outside of our country. In terms of our own agreement, the sale is considered concluded when all that money has left the shores of this country. Under pressure from Zimbabwe to comply with the local majority ownership laws, Russian-owned Amsterdam-based Vimplecom sold its 60% stake in the company. The remaining 40% share is owned by a local consortium. This acquisition is actually localizing an international entity. Uh, it is now going to be a Zimbabwean entity where they were paying management fees to Switzerland and from Switzerland to Amsterdam where Vimpocom is headquartered. Those monies will no longer live in the, be leaving the country. He said the takeover enhances the government's indigenization plans. Just look at the makeup of the telecommunication industry in this country. We have no foreign player. Now, the biggest network in this country is owned not by foreigners but by Zimbabweans. The second biggest network is owned entirely by the people of Zimbabwe through government. The local empowerment group is said to be offloading at stake, possibly to the state body, the National Social Security Authority. Mandiwanzira says it will sanitize the company. Telesel has faced multiple ownership wrangles among the local consortium, composed of individuals, black businesses, women's and farmers groups. The government believes that the company has a market value of 250 million US dollars. It says once it has acquired the stake, it may exercise the right to offload it in future, including to foreign companies. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.